Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision-making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered, and in last week's episode I shared another question in this series of questions from my client Veronica. And the question last week was part 10 of My dad is in intensive care with stage 4 lung cancer and stroke. He's on the ventilator now and in an induced coma. What are his chances of survival? You can check out last week's episode by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer the next question from one of my clients, Stephen, which are excerpts from one-on-one -on -one phone and email counseling and consulting sessions with me. And the question this week is part three of a case study. My dad has been in intensive care for several weeks with ARDS, cardiac arrest and dialysis. He's got a tracheostomy. Does he have a realistic chance of survival? You can also look up part one and part two of this one-on-one -on -one phone counseling and consulting sessions. Again, if you're clicking on the links below this video. So Stephen's dad has been in intensive care for several weeks now after he suffered from severe ARDS, which is also known as lung failure. He had a cardiac arrest during his time in intensive care, and now he's in multiple organ failure with the lungs failing, the heart failing, and the kidneys failing. Stephen is obviously extremely concerned, and he wants to know what decisions he should be making about continuing life support for his dad or not. We discuss his dad's future quality of life in this one-on-one -on -one counseling and consulting session if he survives his stay in intensive care. And we also look at what's best for his dad by looking at the level of suffering his dad is currently going through. Stephen's dad remains in intensive care and is very critical. And in this week's one-on-one -on -one counseling and consulting session with me, we discuss the outcomes of a, of a meeting we've had with one of the intensive care consultants. We look at ECMO and lung transplant and if both are an option for Stephen's dad. Overall, it doesn't look great for Stephen's dad and we discuss in detail if and how he should pre prepare <coughs> for an end of life situation. So go down and scroll below this video and read the dialogue between me and Stephen and how we evaluate his dad's situation. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below this video. That'll get you to the dialogue where Stephen and I talk about his dad's situation. So how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one? How can you make informed decisions Get peace of mind, control, power, and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. You get to that all-important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power, and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you learn quickly how to make informed decisions, get peace of mind, real power and real control, and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free 
Instant Impact Report. You learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions get peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You will get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what is really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I'll see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Or you can call me, find international phone numbers on the contacts tab on the top of the website. You can also check out our ebook section where you can also get one-on-one -on -one counseling and consulting with me via Skype over the phone or via email by clicking on the counseling and consulting tabs on the top of the website. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.